Welcome to the New Heights Show on Education. I'm Pamela Clark, founder and director of the New Heights Educational Group, and I'm here with David Smith, the founder of Silicon Valley High School, who has helped us get these podcasts produced and delivered to you. Yes, Pamela, when we saw the great things that you and your army of volunteers were achieving at New Heights, we wanted to get involved. We're happy to work with you to leverage the internet and make quality education accessible and affordable to everyone, everywhere. Thank you, David. We appreciate Silicon Valley High School helping us to get these podcasts out to the hundreds of thousands of listeners from all over the world. So I hope you enjoy the show. In this week's episode, we will discuss education reform on mission. Hello, everyone. This is Danielle Washington coming to you live from Ms. Buffy Williams' office. <laughs> Just sitting around thinking about life and trying to become better people tonight, so check us out. Welcome back. You're on the air with Buffy Williams, and you have been listening to the New Heights Show on Education. We have been discussing the show's purpose on mission. Right now, you might be struggling through your classes or even failing them. You might be worried that you may not finish high school. There might have even been a thought that you may not be smart enough. Well, the New Heights Educational Group begs to differ. We not only think you are smart enough, but with our help, you will complete your high school diploma. The New Heights Educational Group strives to improve your academic success through its tutoring services. To learn more, please visit newheightseducation.org and contact us. New Heights Educational Group educational resources to help reach your goals. Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Buffy Williams, and you're listening to the New Heights Show on Education. And I'd like to welcome all my listeners back. Um, I want to remind you that Erica Henson, who is also a uh, host with the New Heights Educational Group, show airs Thursday at 2 o'clock p.m., Mountain Standard Time, 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard. Uh, If you remember, our show on last week was with Kevin Grant. He was the creator of the Nellis uh, anti-bullying campaign. Um, And the name of his production was Gifted Grant Productions, and that's Kevin Grant with Gifted Grant Productions. And we were talking about anti-bullying and his anti-bullying campaign. And I wanted to come back this week and talk with the listeners. And if you would, send me some comments either on Spreaker or you can email me or you can always call into the show. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about bullying because bullying is something that has uh, increased and I guess the awareness of bullying has been increased. I think we have always known that sometimes people bullied kids, but we just didn't know to what extent. And I think sometimes uh, we're not really aware of the underbelly of the school environment. We know that Um, we have the surface level of what's going on, but a lot of times kids deal with um, issues and that they may not relate to the adults in their lives. And so we talked a little bit about bullying um, with our um, interviewee on last week, uh, Kevin Grant, and he was bullied for not really having the clothing that other kids had and bully him and his um, siblings for that. He was also bullied because he was smart and um, he wasn't in an environment that embraced that. But one of the things that I brought up was that I can remember when I was in school, I rode the school bus and we had two um, young ladies in particular who were bullies. And I think they were just bullies just for the sake of being bullies. I don't think that they had any kind of hidden agendas, but, um, it did have an impact on some of the younger kids on the bus, including me at that time. I wasn't, um, I guess very assertive at that point. And I probably am more assertive, uh, of course, now as an adult, but during that time we did have bullies, um, on the bus. 
I don't recall any bullies on the playground, but I do that, you know, kids were bullied on playgrounds. And, and so, um, how did we deal with that? I think most of the time in my, um, in my era of growing up, I think most of the time what we did was we just kind of dealt with it among ourselves as kids. Maybe if we had an older sibling or an older cousin or friends that we knew that would stick up for us, we kind of just banded together and tried to diffuse the situation as best we could um, among ourselves. But I don't recall us ever going to a principal or going to my parents and saying, hey, I'm being bullied. Um, But also, you know, when we think about bullying, we think about young children and see an age factor. It could be students who are in your same grade, but also I know that sometimes students have reported feeling bullied by adults. And I think that that's something else that sometimes maybe we don't talk about. We know that bullying is probably one of the top major issues in education at the K through 12 level. Um, Of course, they deal with a number of other um, major issues within the school um, setting, but bullying is definitely in the top ranking there. Um, so one of the other things that um, we talked about on last week's show was that Kevin Grant has um, chosen the peacock and his peacock names and Nella stood for, um, if you remember all the acronyms, in the um, uh, kind of encompassed his slogan for um, what his mission statement was for his actual um, brand of the anti-bullying campaign. And Nella stood for never, ever let invaders show harm. And it's easy um, for us as outsiders to say um, that we won't allow anyone to harm our child And I think as parents, sometimes we get to be uh, a little bit more proactive than our parents were um, back in my day. But that's a great premise. If you if you think about it, it's more of an empowering statement. Never, uh, ever let invaders show harm. And it's more of a mantra for kids to kind of just uh, grow their self-esteem within themselves Uh, Also, with anti-bullying campaigns in schools, we talked a little bit about on previous shows, do we think that schools have all of these responsibilities to be able to um, implement all of these policies that uh, are required by the Department of Education um, and different mandates based on things that have happened. But we know that bullying can go to the extreme. We also talked about how uh, on last on the last segment that Mr. Grant um, actually at one point got so fed up that he retaliated against a bully. I never um, got to that point myself. Uh, I guess I just kind of just downplayed it a little bit and just kind of dealt with it in my own way. But um, it's becoming a hot topic because we are having um, children who are even though we're doing these anti-bullying campaigns and we're saying that we're reaching out to kids and we have all of these programs in our in our elementary school you know for character education and in our middle schools and our high schools for anti-bullying are we are the students really taking it seriously that we're looking out for their best interest and so what we want to do is we want to look at you know are we tapping into them in in the right way? I love the fact that he has the mascot to kind of tap into that because we're we're looking at uh, we have mass school shootings, we have um, kids who are retali- retaliating not only against the ones that uh, have bullied them, but innocent kids as well. And so we don't ever want it to get to that level. But what are we doing? I said we talked about. What are we doing fundamentally wrong that we have all of these kids who are hurting so bad that they're willing to um, lash out in a way that not only harms them and it's going to end um, 
their freedom life, you know, if they're caught, uh, of course they have to pay the penalty for that. And then they're harming the lives and affecting the lives of so many Americans. And unfortunately in the U S we've had a number of mass shootings. And so this is definitely a serious point of discussion for us. And, um, I think a sad state, um, for America because, uh, we, should be at a point in civilization okay we're in 2020 right we've we've dealt with these issues you know i've dealt with these issues in my era the era behind me have dealt with these issues and i'm sure my children dealt with the same issues and you would think as a society we would be getting better because we have you know all of these uh new campaigns and new initiatives saying that we're targeting these things right we're looking out for these kids. We're implementing uh, additional resources into schools. We're putting counselors into schools. We're putting behaviorists into schools. We're having mental health counselors come into the schools. We have the nurses on site. We have administration, you know, stretched, um, I would think, pretty thin, you know, trying to make sure that they meet all the mandates and all the requirements. And then again, we're looking at educating children and then we also have to take into account I know that we're talking about bullying but we have government regulations and they're worrying about funding now we're talking about school safety and we have schools that are um, definitely looking at um, some schools implement um, metal detectors and so you know and students are having to have see-through bags as they go through school so we're talking about anti-bullying, but we're talking about also all these things that are going to surround those things that um, directly act the students in regards to um, school safety and um, anti-bullying and how are we going to get to the root of it. And I know that we can't solve all of life's problems, but we can try to work together to kind of come up with a fundamental um, baseline of where we want to operate from but uh, I'm going to leave you with that to think about it and we're uh, going to take a moment and listen to a word from our sponsors and when we come back we'll be talking about anti-bullying and how bullying affects schools and uh, the K-12 through level in a moment we'll be back Right now, you might be struggling through your classes or even failing them. You might be worried that you may not finish high school. There might have even been a thought that you may not be smart enough. Well, the New Heights Educational Group begs to differ. We not only think you are smart enough, but with our help, you will complete your high school diploma. The New Heights Educational Group strives to improve your academic success through its tutoring services. To learn more, please visit newheightseducation.org and contact us. New Heights Educational Group educational resources to help reach your goals. This podcast is brought to you by Silicon Valley High School, the world's fastest growing, video-based, self-paced, teacher-supported, fully accredited online school that's recommended by more than 96% of students. Take individual courses at just $95 each or earn your high school diploma at any age. Check us out at svhs.co. Welcome back. You're with your host, Buffy Williams, and you're listening to the New Heights Educational Group and the New Heights Show on Education. And our topic for today is anti-bullying. Um, before the break, we were talking about some of the issues that um, educators have in trying to make sure that our children are safe in the school systems. And uh, also, we talked about uh, on previous shows how sometimes parents are thinking that maybe the schools are not the safest environment for our, for their children and you know someone learning a skill and then um, branching off from that and then we're moving away from you know a lot of we're doing flip classrooms where uh, students are going to be well it's one of the emerging trends I should say flip classrooms is kind of like you give the student the information to study at home and then when they actually come to school it's more of a question and answer and exploratory period um, of trying to fine-tune their understanding in of, of that they've already learned 
but in relation